what's a force, and how do balloons help you understand them. Don't forget that there is a free lab that goes with this YouTube video. You can get that in the description. There's a link there. In the lab, you'll find a teacher's aid, which will go through all of the different concepts and then show you how to teach it to your kids. Okay, everybody, listen up. So today we're gonna to look at forces. So it turns out that a force is really easy to understand. You ready? Yes. This is this is diabolical demonstration. Here we go, watch. <laughs> okay, did you see that? Yes. Is that amazing? Yeah. No. Okay, so <laughs> that is a force. It's as simple as that. Okay, it's either a push or a pull. Okay, so why don't you guys practice doing your forces here. <laughs> Everybody, write that down in the blank. Where it says, what is a force? Force. I can read this. Okay, and a force is a push, a push or a pull. Okay, the next question is, what is an applied force? I don't know. No, this one's a little more difficult, okay. But how, how about this? If I say that you need to apply some cream to your face, do you know what that means? Yes. Put. Put. Good, right? It means to put cream on your face. So go ahead and pretend to put cream on your face. Okay. What are you doing? You're using your hand, right? And that's where the word applied comes in. It's using your hand. The idea is that a force is where one object, like your hand, is pushing on another object, like the shell. Okay? So notice I am applying a force like I am applying cream. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, it means one object pushing or pulling on another. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an experiment. This is a really easy experiment. You just use a piece of fishing wire, tie it up in your house, make sure it's taut. Then you feed the straw through the fishing wire. Then you attach the balloon, which is blown up. Here it's tied off, but yours will not be tied off. Put a piece of sticky tape around the straw and Bob's your uncle, off you go. Don't forget that in this experiment, the forces are pushing on the front of the balloon. That's what propels the balloon forward. Okay, are we ready everybody? Yeah! All right, on the count of three, let's let the balloon go. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! All right, should we do it again? Yes. One more time. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Let go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think it went any faster, did it? What kind of force? Happened. What happened to the balloon? Yeah. A push. A push. Maybe okay. It pushed it in the opposite. Why? So it's, why do you think it was pushed? Because it moved forward. But did you see my hand? Did I did I go over there and push? No, it, it was a different kind of force. Okay, Zoe. Um, the air. Right. Okay. Was we 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 know that was air coming out of the balloon, right? The air was pushing it. And so the air was pushing it. So that is an applied force. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is how do we draw forces? Anyone know? We use arrows. Now, we've got a picture of a balloon here. I want you guys to put a force on the balloon. Which way, how do you think you would write that arrow on that balloon, okay? As it turns out, the air was blowing out of the back of the balloon but the air was also pushing on the front of the balloon. Inside the balloon, the air molecules were pushing on the front of the balloon. And that's why the balloon was going this way. 
So that is the direction that you would draw your force arrow. Okay, so here's our balloon, and we have the air coming out of the back of the balloon, and which direction did the balloon go? That way. That way, so we have to draw the arrow that way. And when we draw a force arrow, we always start in the middle, like this, and we draw the arrow out like that. Okay, so if I throw something in the air, here we go. So, if I throw Cubby up into the air, which direction is Cubby gonna go? Uh, up. Up, and okay. Then down. Right, so what direction does the force arrow go? Up. Up. That means if I draw Cubby on the board, and this is very, very bad, okay? Picture of a, uh, this is a very, very bad picture, okay? <laughs> of a monkey, all right? Where do I start my force arrow? Cubby does, does not look like Oh, there, they can't get the other on the side here, right? My bad. Okay. Okay, so where do we start the force arrow? Where do we start it? In the middle. And which direction do I draw it? Up. Up. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Now, a little bit extra on why the balloon is going that way. Because where's the air going? Which way is the air going? The air is going out here, okay? But it turns out when you let the air out this way, air molecules all hit the front of the balloon up here as well. And if air molecules hit the balloon up here, which way is the balloon gonna go? That way. Now, someone, Grace, you talked about a force out the back. It turns out there is a force out the back. There's another force that way, and that has to do with Newton's third law, which we're gonna talk about on another day. But for now, we don't wanna worry about that. We just wanna think about the force taking the balloon that way. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna do another experiment here. This time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a balloon on a straw and I'm gonna send it up to the ceiling. All right, so shall we see what happens with that? Yes. Oh. Think it's gonna go straight up? No, it won't. Is it gonna go up to the ceiling? No. Okay, what's gonna hap what's gonna happen to it as it's going up? Is it gonna go keep going through the ceiling? No, no it's going to slow down. down. It's gonna slow down and then come back. And then it's gonna come back down. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you think is gonna happen? Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, let's have a look. Alright, hold that tight. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so that was pretty cool. Should we do the the thin one here? Yeah. See what, see what yeah. happens with this? All right, here we go, you ready? Yeah. Super long balloon, hold that tight, sweetie, pull down. Pull down so it's tight. Got it? So it's tight? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> all right, good. All right, everyone back over at the table. And then what happens if you poke the hole through the middle? It wouldn't go anywhere. It would go sideways. It would go... It would just... Very good! It would... Why would it go sideways? Because it's getting pushed. That, no, like it was and that would be down. a what? A force. A force, that's right. Oh, good job, Alex. Okay, so tell me what happened, Chloe. The first one um, went um, really fast. Okay. So it was going like, and then it went all the way up to the roof. Yep. And then it came straight down. And then it came down again, Grace. The, the air inside it pushed it up. So and what's the that? Air came outside a force. Okay, so that's a force. So we know that a force was working in which direction? Up. Up, right? Because that's where the balloon went. So go ahead and write that force arrow on the second balloon. And where do you start it? In the middle. In the middle. And you draw it upwards. That's right. So we know there was a force going up. Now, what happened? The balloon went up. Why did it come back down again? Sophia. It ran out there. Okay. Is that the only reason it came back down? Yes, Sophia. Because of gravity. Aha! Right? So, something else is going on, right? 
Something else brought that balloon down to the ground. What do we call that? Gravity. Gravity. And we're all familiar with gravity. Yes. Okay. Now here's the thing. Is gravity a force? Yes. Gravity a force? Yes. Okay. Why do you think it's a force? Because it's keeping things down. It push. It's pushing things back. Okay, we use that word again, push, right? Now, actually, is it pushing or is it doing something else? Pulling. It's pulling. You can think of gravity like gravity, but the Earth's gravity is what? It's pulling the balloon back down to the ground. So that's a force. When did gravity start working on the balloon? When it got to the ceiling? No. When was gravity starting to work on the balloon? Yes, Ellie. When it, you are so smart. When it first started, right? The gravity has been working on the balloon the whole time. Well then, if gravity's working on the balloon the whole time, why did it go up in the air? Do you think that one of the forces down the bottom was bigger than the other force? Which force was bigger? Which force had more power? Pushing it up. When it go, when it went up into the air, which one had the greatest power? That's the air, right? Pushing on the balloon. So that was a greater force. Than gravity. But then eventually what happened? Because there was no more air than the gravity. That's right. So what happened is that force going up got smaller. The arrow gets smaller and smaller. But the gravity arrow stays the same and it pulls the balloon back down to the ground. Now that's pretty complicated stuff, by the way. This is like college level stuff. So good wow. job. Now, last question. Is gravity an applied force? Alex, yeah. it's an applied force? Okay. What object was pulling on the balloon? The gravity. Gravity was pulling on it, right? Yes? The air. Was the air? Is that what was pulling on the balloon? Yes. What do you guys think? This is a hard one. Was there actually an object? No pushing or pulling the balloon? No. no. No! There was no object. There was no air. There was no finger. There was no nothing. It was invisible. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. We call that a force at a distance. Okay? We call it a force at a distance. And you know what? It's still a mystery. Scientists are still mystified about gravity and how it works because there's no strings, there's no finger, there's no air pulling it down. It's invisible. Now, it's not magic because it's still a scientific principle and law. So gravity is a force, but it's not an applied force. It is a force at a distance. We should be able to answer all four of these questions now. Is gravity a force? Yes. Yes. Why do you think it's a force? Because it pulls up. Pulls, because it pulled down. Is gravity an applied force? No. No. What kind of force is it? A force at a distance. A force at a distance. Good. All right. We are done. Well, that's all for this time. Don't forget, next time we're going to do Newton's first law. Remember, there is a free lab with free teacher notes at my website. The link is in the description. It will give you a point by point description of how to teach these concepts to your kids.